Dad, are you going to help me ship? Yes, I will. You going to help me price everything? Everything. Happy Tuesday, friends, and welcome back to my channel. This is Tuesday, and it's vlog day. It's sale preview day. It's Misty's going to run around today, getting everything ready for her sale tomorrow, because she has nothing ready day. So it's going to be a busy day. I have a couple things to pack up from eBay, and I actually have um something to package up that is kind of a breakable big breakable item that i'm that i will that i'll take you along with me and i have some friend mail to open up so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun filled jam-packed video um i'm outside right now with maybell maybell and mama so we're outside doing our morning oh just running around getting some energy out being buddies they love each other they love each other so it's about 7 30 in the morning or so so i'm hoping to get to the shop here within the next hour so i can get things going because it's a lot to do today let's get going and let's get tuesday done so we can be ready for wednesday my favorite day of the week are you waving hi she's a good girl yes she is maybe are you saying hi to everybody and I'm so smart. I know lots of tricks. Just got to the shop. Dad's here. What do you What do you want to show? What this? He got a few things. I got this. I thought was kind of neat. It is neat. Now I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. <laughs> but see, there's information the little pixie. Tick tock, tickety tock. Look Count your savings by too. the clock. Oh, it's pretty good. Yep. I didn't see the other side. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You got more prixies on that more side. More prixies on that side. Mm -hmm. Penny, uh, for a penny, move the big hand to one when 12 are in the small hand. Wait. When 12 are in, the small hand should be moved on. Um, it's missing, it's a hand, missing a hand, and it's missing some periods, too. Cause that's periods? Some periods in the words. Why? That's a big run-on sentence. How that... I don't know, but it's. I like that. What else did you get? You got something else, didn't you? Oh, oh, I know what you got. He got this, but I'm keeping it. Oh, yeah. Now make it go up and down. It's a boy, boy doll head, Which composition head. It says play thing on the back. I haven't really looked to see if there's any other numbers on it, but, you know, I like having a head on a it's shelf. Composition. It's composition. So I'm, I have him there because he's going to go home with me. What else, what else did you buy? I don't know. You had some stuff over here. You had some stuff over here. Over here. Over there still. Oh, okay. Now this. Oh, yeah. He got some chickens. These will be... I might put these in the sale tomorrow. At least a couple of them. And this guy. I and that little really planter awesome guy. really awesome is. Yeah, Let me just we'll... show... Oh, I can do it without break breaking him. it. him. You break it, you buy well, it. Well, I'm going to have to... Anyway, I think he's pretty cool. This yeah, he hangs. Yeah, he's, he's supposed to have a fishing pole, but you could easily put a, a dowel in there or, or a something. stick. Yeah. And then I, you put his plant, your plant in his head. But isn't he cool? Yeah, he is cool. He's made in Japan. I can tell by the way he feels. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yep, like him. What else do we got, Dad? Oh, he got some. He got some doilies down there. Those yeah, will be up soon. Yes. You want me to show them or not? Not yet. Thank I like you. to keep the doilies secret right. so they could be surprised. Okay. What else? You, you had some more stuff over here, I thought. Uh, yeah. um, this book? Oh. No. Well, yeah, I did actually get them. Oh, books. yeah. A Gay Charmer and Akenside. Pretty Victorian books. Then I got these a while back. But... Yeah, we've, we've looked at those already. Well, this is new one. <gasps> Speeches of Daniel Webster. I don't think anything over there is new. I've already showed that stuff. Even the little toilet? Yep. Well, these, I'm going to sell. I bought these a long time ago, but these are neat milk Ooh. bottles. What do they say? Um, they're from Israel. Huh. And I think they're out of the 40s. In Hala. I see you I... read some of this. 
Oh, oh, it's in Arabic. Yeah. Ah. Oh, you got the candle glow. And I got the candle glow. glow yeah. Whatever you call it. And now, let me know if anybody would be interested in this girl. Dad bought her. She's got no body, but she's some sort of... Um, she's wood. She's made out of wood. And she's got, like, fabric. It came from overseas somewhere. So, but, let me know. She's lightweight. She doesn't weigh very much. So, let me know just, if you, anybody out there is interested in this girl before I try to put her on a sale. He also got some of these silver pieces. I actually have brought one over to sell tomorrow. Maybe I'll grab the other two. I don't know. It's monogrammed with an H, I think. Yeah. Oh, right there. Yep. Is that an H? Is that an H? It's a K. Oh. Close. And then a little box. Yeah. But. Yeah, we like little wooden boxes. It looks like a little hope chest or something. I don't think it's a salesman sample. But it's got little um, dovetailed sides. It's cute. Now your people don't like this kind of stuff, do they? No, I'll probably put that on eBay. The belt buckle. Oh, this is... I've not seen this. This is a uh, bookend. Uh, yeah. It's that styro co wood. There's only one of them. These lamps, they're missing some of the... No, I have you them. You have them? In the background. Well, maybe that could be a project for you to find them, and then I can put those... I got chandeliers, I can list those. too. Yeah, I know. Interested. Well, you want to ship those? Because I'm not. Well, yeah, I mean, they need to be put together. Too. Well. I got one that's put together. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad to ship. Okay. I'll ship it. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, I did put, now this is all of the restaurant wear that I have right now. Dad did get these. Now they're missing two. Well, he bought the cups and then he found the carrier. Um, they're missing Next day two. later. So I. I'm, this was Friday. This was Saturday. I kind of want to hold on to it for a little bit just to see if I can find maybe two more of these glasses and then I can have a set. Even if I can find them on eBay. And if and then I can, has that, any out yeah, there. Then let me know. I got a blue. That one. Maybe I'll sell that one tomorrow. Just leave it there for now. And I have, the, and I have more fairy lamps. These are just the two that I have so far. But these are all the restaurant wear. I think Jeffrey. No. I, Jeffrey sold some of the ones similar to ones that I have. Um, I'm not sure where they're at I right now. I gave for all of them. Well, how much did you pay for all of not, but Not all of it, because some of it is well, stuff yeah, that we had for a while. Yeah, we did. And I thought it was weird because I've had this garage plate, sale. and then I found this one at a garage sale, and it's the same pattern. Um, it's just this W.S. George. But it's, I don't know, I just thought that it was weird. So, yeah. And I just picked. We have. Up. I have bottles up there, milk bottles. I need to put the baby on it. Oh, nature gives, we protect it. And then put it on the white. You can really read it. Rosenberger's Grade A milk. So look what I got it? Show them the baby. I, they could see the baby, Dad. Oh, I couldn't see. There's the baby. baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> so today I got to get the store ready or the sale ready of the things that I have. I'll show you a little bit of some of the things that I have. And then after I get this stuff ready, I'll go through and I'll pull some more things. But, oh, and I will be announcing tomorrow the winner of the Junk Journal Starter Kit tomorrow during the sale. I have this groovy pillow. Uh, I am going to do the bird wreath, some green stamps. Some of these things that you guys have seen in a haul, the little strawberry pot, the mushroom napkin holder the chickens and the bear oh oh remember these guys i'm gonna i've pulled these there's the guy who is playing the trumpet and then his buddy is like no i am so done playing this guitar so they will be for sale go ahead and put those together yeah those tile i've shown that this one i know you did but then there's that hot plate too and then Mr. and Mrs. Fancy Pants, they were in a recent video. Some chalkware, some advertisement tins. I like the colors on this one. Big Puda Schnuda. There's a little oil can, a lock, lock can. Some canisters. This, I'll get my green light out and show you. It does light up. It's from a, um, well, you've seen it already. Well, I'll show you in a little bit. 
Um, this is a box from an Ingram alarm clock. It has a, the factory on it. And some linens. Look at this pillowcase with the cat. So these are just some of the things. So what I'm going to do is start getting the stuff. Pro oh, wait, there's more stuff over here. Uh, these plastic starburst sets. I've already showed you the small corbels. So some of these things, as well as those things, will be for sale. I'm not sure about that yet. And so I'm going to just, I'll get this stuff priced and then get it set up. And then I'll start working on getting that stuff priced and getting it set up. I also have some friend mail that I'm going to open up today too. And I'm going to get some shipping done. So, wait a minute, Nesting. Dad, are you going to help me ship? Yes, I will. You going to help me price everything? Everything. Listen And to pack me. it? Show them my farmer's hat. See if they're impressed with as much as I was happy to get. I'm not impressed with it. I'll show it. Well, they're not old. They're not old. They're not new either. They're like out okay. of seven. No, there's barcode. Maybe. There's OSHA standards and all kinds of other things inside the helmet. Just show them. I'll Just grab this one because I can't grab that one. Okay. Dad got these far. Well, as Dad would say, what are they called? Farman's hat. And first of all, they're going to be not very fun to ship. Second of all, they're not that old. Well, they're not new, Nasty. They have reflective tape on them, Dad. They're not new. 70s, they had that kind of stuff. Okay, you're, we'll, we'll look together. We shall. There it is. Now, I think what makes him think that they're old is because it has this leather... Uh, thing on it but it has velcro right here so velcro so you can put the name or the whoever when did it come out with that 70s 60s 80s 90s okay and on the inside it says danger do not remove this label it's dated it's also dated 1996 i told you exactly what i said 96. And there's another one that's even older. No, but Rita, he, he was an engineer. That He was higher rank. He don't have his rank in that one. So that makes it older? Makes it bigger. And, and it's also got the old, like they used to do the old farmers okay. caps in the back. See if you can get to it. Here. You, hold, um, you film it. Just, you right. just got to hold it. I'll... We're going to see what Misty can do here. You know, because this whole place is like a big jungle gym. All right, she's pulling it down. This one's newer. Oh, thank you, Misty. Here, it look. It is. I know, but... Hang on. I'm going to... I, I got to get it carefully because it's... Okay, here. Engineer. Reflective tape. But look at that. Eagle on it. Date of manufacturing. Uh, April 10th, 2008. See, it's older. One year. All right, now look at, look at the design on that. All right, so next I have a poodle. A big poodle schnooter. That actually... A viewer had seen this in a shop with me video and asked if I would go back and get it. And I did. And she wants it. It's just this ceramic poodle. It does. It was made in Japan. And it has this beautiful hand painted um, design on it. It is hand painted. It's not a transfer. So we're going to wrap up dear poodle and get it ready to go to its new home and so let's do that now let me get the camera set up in a little bit different of a way so you can actually you can actually watch me wrap boop, our little poodle so let's do that now all right just started with a big long line of bubble wrap and again, I like to lay it all out in front of me. I'm going to lay the poodle 
long ways. So see, she's laying, there's the end. So I'm, I'm, I'm laying her long ways, like this. Now she's like that. And I'm going to tuck up the bottom and just start tucking and rolling for a couple layers and then I will tape it and then I'll reverse it. So that feels about right. And I don't, I can't explain to you what, when I say it feels about right, I, I don't know. Once you've done this for a while, you'll get to, you'll know when it feels about right. And I am one, and people may not agree with this and that's okay, but I am one, I, I tend to, I, I err on the side of caution when I'm packaging up items because, yes, it's going to cost me a little bit more in packing supplies, but in the long run, I'm going to have a happy customer. Oh, baby head. That was not a smart move. Mister, I need to put you somewhere safer. In the long run, I have a happy customer who got their item in a safe manner and that makes me happy okay so then i put where i taped it face down again why there's no reason that's just what i do and i'm going to give it a second layer just tucking and rolling and i tend to wrap up you know all the loose ends with Flip it over on the other side and I'll just tuck this in to there. Tuck that side down. And I think that, you know, I I'm 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 gonna one up it. I'm going to one up it just to ease my mind. I'm gonna lay it here, I'm just going to do one more layer across the top. Overkill, probably, but does that make me feel better? And it, does it, will it secure the item just that much more? Probably. So again, I err on the side of caution. So now we've got our poodle in three layers of bubble wrap and he should be just fine and i think i'm going to use this tissue paper with cats on it is that okay with you mr poodle these cats have party hats on they are having a party that you're going to your new home mr poodle they're so excited again i say this with every video that i do that I feature something that I'm shipping. I I put tissue paper, I wrap up my items. I like, I enjoy doing it. Um, I, I too used to think it was silly. And I started watching another you, can you see me? Another YouTube, Melissa at Fresh Blooming Clothing. I love her videos. She does a lot of shipping videos. So if you have a question about shipping and, and different technical aspects, make sure that you do watch her channel. She sells a lot of clothing and jewelry, but she has a lot of knowledge when it comes to the post office and different rules and regulations and things like that. So I highly recommend that you check out her channel. I will link her channel down in the description box. But I did get inspira inspiration from her because she does this. She wraps her packages so lovely and she kind of, she talked about how it just, it, it brought her joy. And then so I, I, I started doing it and, it, and it, it brings me joy. So it just makes me feel good. So that's why I do it. And this tool I buy from Goodwill all of the time in the the goodie bags and since my mother is moving she's going through all of her craft supplies i literally got an entire trash bag full of ribbon so i am set on ribbon for a long time okay now usually what i'll do is i'll put 
like typically if they order multiple things like during a live sale i'll wrap one of them in tissue paper and then i'll put like a coordinating ribbon on them somewhere all right so i have my cards which these are still my old cards and then i found this game and it was guess the stash guess the stash so can you guess this stash anybody i'll give you a second so you can try to guess anybody know who do you think this let me give you a clue um, I am a character from the 80s. I wore Hawaiian shirts a lot. Who am I? Oh, here's the clues. I'm a hunky actor. I live on an avocado ranch. Dr. Richard Burke on Friends. He's an NRA supporter. And he was Magnum P.I. Who am I? Tom Selleck. So, I don't know. I just, I got that card game at Goodwill and I thought that might be kind of, that might be kind of fun to stick in. Along with I got a baby boomer card. So we'll just stick a couple things in there like that. And now it is boxing time. Box, box, box. It's always uh, the fun thing when you have something of an odd size. You don't want your box to be too big. That's too big. Yeah, you don't want it to be too small either. Let's see here. You know what? No, it won't fit in there. Don't mind me as I just talk out loud. Um, and I have more boxes that I need to I ordered, I ordered more boxes. Put you up. I ordered more boxes from eBay and I have, they're still sitting in the box over there. So I need to get them all out. I'm going to try this 15 by 10 by six box. Now, when I say I ordered the box from eBay, that means I use my coupon every quarter. If you have a store. <laughs> Oh, eBay tape's gone. If you have, well, let me go get some eBay tape. Every quarter, if you have an eBay subscription, store subscription, you will get a coupon. You'll get a coupon depending on the level of the store that you have. I think I get a $50 coupon. And I will use that if I had a nickel for every time I put this on wrong. I'd be a millionaire. Okay, thanks, Misty. Okay, you go this way. And listen, I know that there are guns that I could like tape guns. I don't like them. I like this one. My husband makes fun of me all of the time. It's just what I prefer. So that's that. I tend to fight and wrestle with a tape gun. Nobody, nobody needs that in their life. Okay. So what I was saying is I usually get tape some boxes i get i usually will spend like another thirty dollars on getting supplies but still you get fifty dollars and the boxes are great boxes it's really great great stuff i'm gonna put some of this craft paper and this reminds me i keep thinking that i'm going to call the newspaper office is right next door pretty much in the building right next door so, oh, it fits like a glove. I thought I'd call there and see if I can get some of their end rolls. You know, I know that they do that. It's basically paper like this. I got this paper from an auction. It was just in a big package. And I thought I could use that. So I got it. But I'd like to have the big rolls of it. It is nice. All right, so I have it packed in. 
you want to make sure uh, it is wrapped in three layers of bubble wrap so none of the sides are going to touch the box i have the paper tucked in each side on the front and on the bottom and then when you close your lid you don't want there to be a lot of give you want it to to be pretty secure and not smushy oh, when i just talk about fighting with the tape gun this is my life you don't want it to be smushy because if it's smushy and, and the post office lays a heavy box on it then that'll smush in and it might it might affect your your item all right so now we're going to weigh mr poodle two pounds 5.3 ounces so it is 2.6 two pounds six ounces i still write 15 by 10 by 6 on the box so i don't have to turn the box over again and this is the poodle now this wasn't through ebay so i will go on pirate ship if you are selling things and you're not going through ebay um pirate ship is a great great option you will have to have it linked up to a bank account um i have it linked up to my business account so the shipping just goes directly out and my GoDaddy at the end of the year still has keeps track of all that for me for tax purposes so i highly recommend pirate ship it's free so if you're not using pirate ship i like it all right so now what do we have to do well i should probably check ebay one last time before i print off the labels just to see if there any other orders have came through this morning so let me do that now and then i'm going to open up some friend mail and then we're going to start pricing stuff oh but before i do let me show you something let me just show you something now my friend june of thrifted in a pear tree follow her on instagram she has live sales on instagram i will link her instagram channel in the description she had a sale one night it was so fun she's just i love her she's as sweet as she can be and she had these salt and pepper shakers and you know i like salt and pepper shakers anyway but i had to have these because well first of all let's just look at them okay let's look at them here they are i mean look at those faces okay so we have salt and pepper they are both made in japan they're ceramic but you want to see the best part or you want to hear the best part i mean oh i probably should have given you a squeaker alert they're amazing now i haven't been i have been instructed that i am not allowed to bring these home they are not allowed to come to the house because i will drive my family crazy and probably all the dogs in the neighborhood does it get any better than this now these are not for sale right now i'm going to keep them for a little while because they make me happy so i have them sitting here on my desk just staring at me with their big buggy eyes i love them so much i just wanted to share that with you okay so let me go check ebay and then we will see if we have anything else to pack up well you know what we do have more things to pack up Ooh, my camera's about to fall out so red i got some bowls some isaac mizrahi bowls and a car mo motorcycle light let me turn the camera around these bowls right here have sold now i got these bowls from goodwill last winter i want to say yeah last winter they are Isaac Mizrahi, New York. They are not Isaac Mizrahi for Target. These are the better ones. So I got those at Goodwill. And I got them because I did a collaboration, uh, I think, with Nicole Northgarden's channel. Um, it was a Valentine's Day tablescape. Okie dokie. I am sitting down now. And I am looking through some of these things that I have pulled that I'm going to put prices on. And then I'll get them set up on the table behind me sorry um and we'll get them ready to, ready to sale tomorrow so what do i have on this sometimes some of the prices i'm looking at what i have on them 
and like I have six dollars on this Ingram um, clocks clock makers over a century box. Is there anything inside it? No, but it's just you know it's a it's an old box from an Ingram clock. We will put a price on that. Uh, I have five dollars on this brake fluid. I'm gonna leave that price on there. Six fifty on that. I'll leave that price on there. And then some of the things are, are are things that I've recently bought, and so I have to I have to price them myself, like these you know personal creamers. Now I know I yeah I did I paid three dollars a piece for these personal creamers, so I need to price them in order to make the profit that I need and to justify me buying them. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, I've been putzing, no, plugging, plugging away um, and getting some stuff priced. A lot of these things are things that have been in previous hauls, a lot of smalls from previous hauls. You like what I did there? A little bit of rhyming today. Like I've got, oh, like the Flow Blue that I got from George's. Also, the Panther Planter. No, Panther Planter. I also have this beautiful Stars and Bars blue glass fairy lamp. Don't normally see that color. I have a really pretty Hager uh, flower pot. That's what that is. Beautiful linens. Uh, this is a jadeite juicer. Let me go get my lamp. All right, so this is a jadeite juicer. So it would be an attachment that would screw on to a mixer, I think. I don't know how they did these, but they would. it would screw on right there. But look, ooh, wow. Isn't that fun? It's almost like you're over a cauldron. I love this stuff. So, this is will be available as well. What else? Oh, this. I love this. Are you left in? Yeah. This little left in planter home, tweet home. So that's gonna be available. I have some bottles. I have some redware. I have some brooches. I got some chalkware, linens. Some artwork, that Victorian, there she is, the Victorian artwork. This fun pitcher and glasses. <sighs> Lots of cool stuff. Lots of small, well, I mean, yeah, there are a lot of smalls. But that's okay, because you can fit more smalls in a box. It makes it easier to ship. And since I've got vacation coming up, you know, I, I need to... I need to focus on making things a little bit a little bit easier on myself this week. All right, so now I'm going to start working on the Instagram sale. And then I'm going to start doing some eBay drafts. Because if I can swing it, I'm going to at least list five things. That's my goal. If I get more than that, that would be fantastic. Of Things I'm going to make a video on on Friday. And they're going to be things that are going to be up for auction on eBay. I've had a lot of people message me saying that they would like for me to do a video, show the things that I'm listing, and then put it on eBay. Like, and I've done that a couple times. I just have to make time to sit down and do it. So I'm going to work on that a little bit today. I already have photographs of things that I am going to put on there. I just have to make the drafts and film the video. Ooh, that's another thing. I think I need to film a haul video today. Okay, so I'm going to get the Instagram done. I'm going to clean up my mess. I'm going to start some drafts. I'm going to film a haul video. And then I'm going to edit this video so it can go up tonight. <sighs> it's a lot to do. I know it doesn't sound like it's a lot to do, but it is a lot to do. Oh, and let me know as well if you are interested in those fireman hats. Because I'll sell them to you. Dad said $20. 
$20 each plus shipping. So if you're interested in the Bloomington, Indiana, vintage but not antique fireman's hat, send me a message. First two people to send me a message that want them, we'll get them and my dad will be so happy. And then dad will say, I told you so. Or they won't sell and I can say, I told you so. Either way, it doesn't matter. If you want them, let me know. All right, so now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can get all of those things done. So this video can go up. Now, the things that I have showed you that are on this table, they are not up for sale. So don't send me an email asking if you can buy the Hager planter because it's on the video that's going to be available in the sale tomorrow. So that would be mean. That would be not right if I said, oh no, I sold somebody already. We got it. it it's for the sale tomorrow. So just keep that in mind. All right. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Thank you for coming along on my crazy little day. And uh, I, I, I'm glad that you like these vlogs. I need... I, I'm thinking I might start doing a couple more of them as I'm listing things on eBay. A lot of people are interested in listing on eBay, so I will try to walk through that process. It is something that I'm really wanting to do. So leave me a comment down below of what kind of vlog would you like for me to do? Do you want me to do an eBay vlog? Do you want me to do a I need to clean the shop because I do vlog or clean the back room? vlog. So just let me know. I'm just curious. Now I will go ahead and say goodbye and I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up and please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.